Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use if else statement in C++. In this video, I'm going to talk about second type of conditional statement, which is switch statement. So let's see how we can use switch statement in C++. So I'm going to take an example. First of all, I will declare a variable called character and I name it as grade. And then I will output a question to the user that please enter the grade and I will close this and end the line. Okay. Now I will wait for the user to input the grade so i will say cin insertion operator grade now on the basis of uh, user defined grade or whatever user enters as a grade i want to show some message so let's see how i can do this with switch statement so what is the declaration of the switch statement so you need to write switch and then these parentheses and then you need to give these curly braces and in here inside this curly braces we are going to define some cases okay but first of all in this curly bracket we provide the condition okay so our condition is this grade on the basis of this grade we are going to decide the message we want to show right so in here we write cases so just write case and because uh, we are evaluating the character with grade which is a character and character we can write it as like this right so if user enters character a then just give this colon this is not a semicolon but a colon right so remember this and then you can output your message see out and you can see excellent okay and end the line and in the same way on the basis of grade entered you can define different cases but there is an optional uh, breakpoint in switch cases which you can declare it like this break so what this does is I will explain you in a moment but I will copy this and paste it two or three, three times uh, for different conditions so if the grade is B, grade enter this B, you can say very good. And if the grade entered is C, you can show the message that you passed. Okay. And there is a one more important condition in switch cases that doesn't fulfill uh, the provided condition. So what happens if the user doesn't provide A, B or C? What happens in the case user provides some uh, random character? So what will happen then? So you can just deal with that random character by default and what is a default in a, any case other than the case listed above you are going to show the message see out invalid entry okay so the user knows that he, he has entered a wrong entry right and I will just close it and break 
I'll go and break here. Okay, so now I will explain what's happening here. So what's happening here is this is a switch statement. So this is a typo I made it here. So switch statement decide on the basis of grade or on the condition you enter or, or user enters. So it sees uh, whether user has entered A, B or C and on the basis of the provided condition it decide what message he wants to print. Okay. So let's build the program and run the program. Program is building. And now let's run the program. And for example, I enter the grade A. So I should ideally see this message excellent. Let's see if I get it or not. I enter A as a grade and press enter. And programs shows me excellent. Once again, I enter the grade B and press enter it says very good and once again if I enter some random uh, random character for example D and press enter it says me invalid entry because it's not fulfilling these listed condition in case right now there is a unique property in switch cases that this break is optional, right? So, for example, I give a new case here. Case small a here. Okay. So, in the case of if the user enters small a, I'm not providing any condition or any break here, right? So now what happens in this condition if I don't provide any break after my case what happens is it goes to this condition if user enters small a and then it sees that if the break is there and if he finds the break it breaks the switch conditions and go out of this switch otherwise if the break is not found in this case or in this condition it goes to the ne next case and performs the conditions here condition here so which is excellent and then he sees yes now I find break so he goes out of this condition here so when you enter or when the user enters this small a this code will be executed which is the next immediate next case of the switch statement so let me explain or, or let me show you by this example I will build the example and run the program and for example I enter small a small a and I will press enter and you see the message comes here is excellent and you can ask why this condition is uh, executed uh, other than this small a condition because you haven't provided the break here so if you don't provide break after your condition or after the case it will go and execute the next code or next condition okay and when it sees that yeah the, I get the break then it goes out of the condition so always remember that what do you want to do you want to give the break or you want to execute the next condition also okay so this is the thing to remember in case and always remember that you catch any exception other than cases by default okay so these are the two things to remember in switch cases. I hope you have understood the concept of case and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.